nobody gives a shit about soap. Who cares about being clean? I think that's it for selling shit. Yeah, you probably want to keep the rest of this. Ordering, yeah. You are about to die of hunger, though. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll take care of that. It's fine. It's, fine. it's not fine. It's not maxed out yet. True. I, I'm i paranoid about it, I guess. That's been kind of, like, beaten into me. <laughs> After you get a few days in, you, you will not... You will not like having the hunger that close to empty. Mm -hmm. It just feels bad. <laughs> I mean, unless it's uh, increasing my stamina, my total stamina drain. Order. It's not. Uh, uh, it once it fills up, every time it would have added more to the hunger bar, it instead depletes health. Gotcha. So it'll start draining health. Yeah, it, it'll start killing you. And he can't sleep it away. I will make sure that that does not happen. That looks important. Uh, that is your hideout later. That's where you'll do your work. You pass the little hole to duck through for the shortcut. Here, though. Yeah, you can yeah, go I through there. I need to go on the site anyway, so it should be fine. I get done with stuck on the whatever that was. I feel like I was just stuck on a plane. This is where you met that guy who sold you meat. The crude sprawl. This is where the poor people live. Mostly uh, the factory workers. The really poor people. Yeah. This place seems kind of poor in general. Well, yeah, no, there's some kind of ostentatious buildings, but water's still good. Yeah, it's still good. Tight. And more empty bottles. I Perfect. For some more blood, I guess. Uh, bars to your left. Yeah, I just see that herb right over there. Yeah, just chilling. But it looks, seems like they're all over the place. So. Trash cans. Yeah, I missed, oh, There's two of them. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Yeah, bloody rags and marvels. <laughs> all right, time to get drunk in here. So this bartender down here, he will buy herbs from you for a pretty good price. Oh. And every day there will be a different herb that he really wants and will pay you like three times for it, which will be like 150 bucks. So if you're, if you're low on money and you got excess herbs, it might be worth it to stop in here and just throw some at him. Gotcha. Oh, man. It's Place time to eat. This place is pretty You're flashing. For, uh, for a, uh... Oh, yeah, it's a nice place. You've only got that bread. Okay. Oh, if, you'll, if you'll buy your red herbs, you should probably just sell it to him. Ha, ah, what a face. A loser's face. Appearances and everything. The rabble is out of control. At least they looked human before. Did you hear about the stabbings? Uh. <laughs> there's people with knives out in the streets now, brother. Uh. <laughs> em That's impossible. <laughs> I know how I immediately with your coaching immediately became a mass murderer in the streets. <laughs> yeah, man. That's how you get ahead in this game. Oh, yes. Wait. Are you a burglar? You're less than human. Yeah. Um, at least in the eyes of the townspeople that matter according to game mechanics. So yeah. Well, those that. guys that are painting them their faces white and shit, they totally are killing people. They're... they're yeah. They're on the hunt for the clay golem and also robbing people. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's impossible. Stabbings don't happen here. I mean, I'm quite an artist <laughs> with the knife myself, but that's different. Everyone knows I obey no law. These people, 
there's no wholesome fear left in them. Kniving is taboo around here, that's why I love this town. But you know the tricks of the trade, don't you? I can tell by your hands. I'm a surgeon, it's part of my job. You're a dangerous man. I am a dangerous man, too. We can reach an understanding if you behave yourself in my establishment. Do they think night conceals everything? I don't even care. If they can come here, they'll regret it. He who lives by the knife dies by the knife. <laughs> Such people are outlaws. Killing them incurs no punishment, only gratitude. Judge Kane said so. Judge Kane, do you mean old Georgie? That means it's serious. This town has too many buttresses. That's specific. There's a gleam of goodness in your eyes, my friend. Drink with me. Uh, there's wickedness in my eyes. Ah. Everyone says t twiring heightens the senses, but I think that's only true of hearing. Vision? Nah, you won't see anything new. It isn't absent. No <laughs> smells either. This place reeks of herbs as it is. Hearing, though. What about hearing? Just drink, and you hear, you'll hear how the town sounds. You'll hear who's calling you and from where. You'll hear a murmur from afar, perhaps from across the Gorkon, or perhaps from across the Styx itself. Drink to my health, friend. This is excellent, Tyrene. There's, There's no such, no such thing, thing as bad, bad Tyrene. I can afford this kind of jewelry. So what do you do? I was once an architect. Now I'm just a shadow of an architect. Thanks for the drink, friend. My name is Peter. I am the rock upon which has built the stairway to tomorrow, to the day when man lifts himself from the earth and overcomes its burden. I am that rock, and I have already built the first step of that stairway. For I am a true architect, and I am the art to be Barak. Let's drink to my father's memory. Let's get drunk. Do Waste it. Waste time. Uh, drink, Barak. Drink your time. Listen to the world. Listen to the roar of the terrible earth. Listen to the ringing of the sky. Listen to the town opening for you. You'll find out where people wait for you or whispering about you right now. It's been proven to work. In what? In what documentation? Uh, the one where you drink the solution hygienic and you go see shit. <laughs> and he gave you two. Yep. That's awesome. They stack, yeah. They do stack, so. yes. They uh, I would save them for later. Hidden things. I'm sure I'll, I'll talk to someone who will uh, be a hidden tutorial if you just come around the right person. It's like, hey. I mean, obviously, he gave me hints to drink it and see shit, and it kind of says so in the description, but I mean, like, they'll make it obvious kind of when to use it to be sure, maybe? Yeah. Actually, you might want to use one in the bar. I never have, so it's maybe there's harvest. something here today. Huh. Oh, I thought you were an herbalist here to sell herbs. It could be. Do you, do you buy twire? Well, no, we're not just interested in twire. Ash and swish, swevery, and white whip are all, of course, more rare. So Don't sell those expensive. ones. <laughs> You value time, huh? Well, not if I want to be a good doctor. Yeah. If I want to be a huge scumbag and just oh, then sell them. Collect money. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I've already taken to knifing people in the backs, <laughs> even though there's I'm arguably doing the kind of good thing for the town. Maybe we've only got two weeks until September ends. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Why did you have to say that? We're now in the golden time of harvest. Now it's stuck in my head. <laughs> we need to stock up for the whole year ahead. How much do you pay? Hopefully enough uh, uh, Eastern European step depression will will get that out of my head. Yeah. Soon. Why is that stuck in your head? Because he said when September ends. Oh, okay. Oh, I know song. what you're talking yeah. about. <laughs> oh. Fuck. God damn it. Back in high school or something. Was that during high school? I don't know. <laughs> it was a long time ago. It was a oh my god. All right. It's different every day. I'm just having flashbacks Stupid to riding song. buses and not being able to escape from from music <laughs> that I did not want to hear yeah. every morning on my way to school <laughs> and on my way back home. Uh, it depends on what we're currently brewing. Some herbs may cost triple sometimes. I see. I see. Cool. Trade with that yeah. fool. Oh, brown more. twire costs three times as much today. Ooh, I don't think you have any brown, but you do have red. Blood twire. All right, you have food and shit. You he does. He meat. sells. He sells good stuff. And things smoked like meats and nuts and shit. 
also, even though these can be munched down, apparently kids will barter handsomely for nuts. Kids like nuts. Okay, that's good to know. And coffee is good to hoard until later on when shit's real bad, because people will buy it for a lot. You could also eat it. Long-term investment. Yeah, uh, to help with your exhaustion, but I wouldn't do it. I need to save up, but I also need food. Yeah, sell those red ones. Fuck it. You don't need it. That'll that'll Those help with the bucks, cost a little bit. Because you you kind of do need food. So. Also stock up on smoked meat. Do it. Do it. It's worth it. Yeah, I can make money yep. selling junk if I need to. I guess. Yeah. Even though the junk's good for bartering, I guess I can know that I know it. I go to a couple different shops. Drink with me. No. Other guy, maybe. I'll drink some Twyre You've hit the official day two. Okay, so it's, it's actually two, but in the morning of day two. Around. There's so many There's a blocks. bunch of shit now. Free to rest until tomorrow or explore the town and its face changes. Oh yeah, this is the the last of day one stuff, I think, you're looking at. Or yeah. are you on act two? No, I switched to act one. Okay. I'm just looking at these empty things. Town Hall's no longer looking for me. Oh, this is probably the event that just ends the day. Uh, yeah. Did you yeah. go to Town Hall and get fucked? You're fucked. <laughs> Fire uncovers that which is hidden. Every super real secret. Uh, there's a hunt going on. Spark claims I've done business with my father. You hear the earth grumble. No one will condemn me for killing bandits at night. I might even be rewarded. Yeah. Can't either buy daily bread or part of work. There's always burglary too. I'm desperate. I can find all I need in this house. There's about picking the lock and shutting up my conscience. Sounds good. I like hunting bandits. They're surprisingly easy prey if you like to stealth a lot and have a revolver. Father's <laughs> funeral starts at dawn. I doubt it will take all day. Cause uh, you you whip in a couple backstabs, and when they start to run, you just switch that revolver and shoot them in the back. Just dancing. uh, some herb wife that's dancing. Is that an herb bride? Yeah, you can tell, you can tell by her clothes. I know. Well, it looks like more generic peasant than the. She is a little more generic. She's wearing like red dress, that sort of tore up. Yeah. All the others looked uh, a little more from yeah. the earth. You can have a conversation with a character later, and she does confirm that that is uh, an herb uh, wife. Yeah, I, I'll know when I talk to her and she starts speaking and fucking. Oh. Yeah. I saw some stuff. Young Vlad. Your face seems vaguely familiar, but I'm positive we've never met before. What is your business? Uh, I'm not here on business. That, my good man, is hard to believe. Every resident of this town has some sort of business with me. It's what I do. The Bull Enterprise is more than just plants, warehouses, avatars, and freight stations. It's built up by esteemed father's ambitions. My guess is that he somehow managed to step on your toes. Am I correct? So you're Vlad Oglimsky's son. Not only that, but I'm a Vlad Olkimsky in my own right, and who do I have the pleasure of talking to? I'm Atomy. You have my condolences and my envy. You were lucky to have a father like him. You think so? Isidore respected you as a person. He indulged your desire to walk your own path and has never forced you to follow in his footsteps, never tried to produce a carbon copy of himself. That bit about my own path, I'm afraid it's not so simple. When he sent you away, the kin were livid. They condemned Isidore for tearing you away from your roots, but he always said that this was the only way for you to come to truly love your people, through choice, not blind necessity. I see great love and wisdom in that. You seem to be well informed. My position in the family forces me to keep tabs on everything that happens in our sad little town. I don't seem happy with that. Right you are. Familial obligation is a sore spot for me. I pay good money to never have to think about it again. I can relate. If we disregard the Canes and Sabarovs, one could say my father controls this town as close as he controls his fat, fat purse. Sadly, he's content with the current state of affairs and sees no reason for things to change. His complacency will doom us all. Things are already in motion, but let us speak of something else. All right. So I, I don't know if you saw it on day one because I can't remember, but if you go by the factory, you find out that... Uh, all the factory workers have been locked inside the nope. uh, the termitories or whatever they're called. Sounds fun. 
Uh, by the way, have you heard about Sabrov looking for volunteer patrolmen? Please tell me it's not to send a new raiding party after you. I'll sigh with relief knowing that the man nearly wants to instill martial law in our godforsaken village. <laughs> I like knowing what my competitors think. Funny indeed. What's up, buddy? Oh yeah, it's technically a new day. I wonder what Irby wants now. Might still be brown. He just Gun. chills there He's until just... game events tell you a change or whatever. All right, uh, the exit is upstairs, all the way up, all the way up. All the yeah, way up. the bar is like a basement. Uh, safe from prohibition. Just throw some shutters. Might want to hit that save so. point. All right, now the hunt for food and bullets. <laughs> yeah, food and bullets. Okay, pharmacy here. There's Ruben's apartment. Oh, yeah, you can probably right go talk to him. Yeah, Ruben might be home now. Also, there's an event at the graveyard now that is time-dependent. You've still You're got... Right, it's morning. Yeah. You're up. Oops. See you tonight at Saba's place? It's dangerous, yes. This is Nangpa Woaba, a place you must not bring outsiders. Everyone's looking for a shop like a dig. It's good they forgot Saba. Uh, I'm an outsider. Why are you telling me this? You're kin. All right, whatever. You can wait longer. Oh, that's so douchey. <laughs> you can wait longer. Fuck you. All right. He ain't got nothing to say to you for some reason. Where are you off to? graveyard is right there yeah uh also the graveyard has a good amount of herbs yeah uh yeah. and there's a place further down on the map uh there's a, a like an, a village way down yeah, there in the corner bunch of herbs out that I'm way i'm guessing also in the empty wilds there's the uh herbs. the like deltas where the rivers look like yeah. roots there's a bunch of herbs on those little islands I'm too. Bun some bunch of the steppe people live over here. The, of in the steppe proper. people. There's a uh, a few gardens there where yeah. they've cultivated herbs, and you can go there every once in a while and just pick them all up. Hey, Ruben, you home? You got new stuff in your uh, in your house? Is this Ruben's house? Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. Uh, it's so easy to mistake them because they just look like all the other houses. There he is. People are here. They're both here. Yeah, you can talk to Should them both. Sing a song for you. So here we are again. I managed to calm down Stock. He was wrong about you, or he was not entirely right, at least. Still right, huh? Were you already offered your father's inheritance, Cub? Refuse it. I beg you. Do not follow his path. Why would I refuse? I don't know if I can probably explain this. There's no happiness down this path, not for yourself or others. Your father's path is cruel, cub. Explain yourself. All in all, this is a quiet town. Not perfect, but there's a place for everyone. We're all connected through bonds of love, of friendship, of patience. Life th flows through those bonds, the town's veins. To cut them would cause harm. Your father, don't be mad. He dreamed of remaking it all. I'm sure he had his reasons. He was a healer, sure. He knew life as no one else could. The kin revered him, but even that did us more harm than good in the end. I mean, five years ago, there was an outbreak in the crude sprawl. It spread like wildfire, dozens and dozens dead. People sent for Isidore. When he arrived, he, he ordered the whole quarter to be quarantined. No one could leave, not even the healthy people trapped inside. That was the first game. That's <laughs> terrible. But I'd make the same call. Townsfolk obeyed his orders without question. They barricaded the whole neighborhood. In the end, there were almost no survivors, but the town lived on. I suppose that is true, but Cub, do not take his inheritance. Isidore's inheritance is his power, his authority, his duties. If you become another Isidore, we will never rest. We will never know peace. You will play the game, and we are fucked. <laughs> it would have been better if you just didn't start playing. Dude. Just sleep on my couch for the next two weeks. It'll be fine. Peace only lasts until the next war. What was that? Two, five years ago, stuff happened. 
together with the carriers. Uh, sometimes after dark, step people meet at Saba's place. Yes, that's just telling you there's going to be an event tonight. Mm -hmm. Don't miss it. <laughs> she was happy to see you then, but did you notice her eyes? Yep, that was my first line of dialogue. All right, uh, why did you come? Finally thought of some good excuses. I I came here immediately, dumbass. You just weren't <laughs> home, and some other doctor was chilling. Yeah, Burak was here. Or not Burak, the, uh, the Bachelor. Whatever his name is. I don't remember his fucking name. I'll be damned. You shaved your head. Preparing to, bunk a, eh, preparing to become a monk or a soldier. <laughs> Yesterday, I was told you had killed your father. Oh, of course. I finally achieved my childhood dream. <laughs> That's not far from the truth, Barack. What the fuck? Fuck you, Reuben. I'm two seconds away from breaking your jaw. <laughs> you betrayed him. You left when he needed you most. He cried out for your help, but you didn't care. <laughs> he was in peril. And you were too busy elsewhere. He this believed, is melodramatic bullshit. truly believed that your arrival would put an end to his troubles. And as always, he was right. Um, what a shit bag. Are you mad? Lara said I'm stupid that I've lost my marbles, She's but I right. haven't. Your father always <laughs> taught us to take stock of the situation, Barack. Overall, you're unneeded here. Don't bother with your father's inheritance. He has better heirs. <laughs> Lara's right, you are stupid. His inheritance is mine. <laughs> Shut up. Your father's inheritance is his work, Barack. No, that's his legacy. You are completely unworthy of it. His work is not yours. His knowledge is not yours. You abandoned both. He sent me away, jackass. He wanted me to study elsewhere. Go elsewhere, then. Learn whatever it is you'll learn there. Here you have no place, and if the kin tells you to let go of his burden, listen. Perhaps even that scum can be right sometimes. You're out of your depth here. Here. Jeez, what a piece of shit. Now he's shitting on all of your people. <laughs> or stock. You know, I don't even want to hit you anymore. <laughs> God. <laughs> Ruben is an idiot. <laughs> yeah. That's the thought I had. Uh, that's a pretty accurate thought. Uh, I don't think anything re-pops, so... Okay. I don't know if you finished looting everything, but... Yeah. Get that saved now that we've determined uh, Ruben is an idiot. Yes, Ruben is an idiot. What about that, uh, left? There's a dresser in that darkness. Did you loot it? You did. Okay. I think we're good. <laughs> I could break into his side room. You, know. you could rob him. <laughs> That's... They'll know. They'll know. They will know. They will all know that I have a knife. Ah, oh, it's one. almost food time again. I am the one who cuts. Oh, it's the the next bullhead event. Hey. <laughs> Wench. Why aren't you running away? Aren't you scared? Boo. Are you playing hide-and-seek? No, not that. Not hide-and-seek. What that? Bone leg. How do you play that? I have bone legs, see? I'm a clay wench. I cannot walk, but whoever sees me runs away in fear. You should run away, too. Isn't it boring just sitting here in one place? I'm not bored. Clay wenches don't get bored. Want me to stand here in your place? You're ruining it. Run away already. Oh, I can't even stop my foot. I'll bite you. <laughs> can't reach me. You're not playing. Fuck off. <laughs> also, hunger's flashing red again. Yeah, let me see. I gotta eat my ball that I bought. Thoughts. I must have missed one. Uh, it's act one. Oh. I think it's a... Uh, continuation or something taboo i've cut a body open yeah oh okay if we're told i will spill river of blood soon guess someone will find their death under my knife after all well at least one person has yeah it was, it was just leftover shit yeah okay. so where's your destination now uh, i should probably head to the graveyard but i should also find some food uh, you, you can try food? trading with people yeah. on the way to the graveyard. Plan. Two? Well, that's pretty Pine cheap. Stone for two. All right. Uh, yeah, let's just stick to the... Now that it's daytime and things are okay. Mostly. Children fight now. They're, I think they're replaying the event or something. Of yesterday. My dad didn't hurt anyone yesterday. Tell them to get off of me. <laughs> Even if he did, it wasn't your fault. 
Let me talk to you. Oh, it's fucking Dove again. What are you gawking at? Do you know who he is? He's Whitebeard's son. His dad went crazy yesterday and hurt people. So? So now you want to stone him to death? <laughs> he started it. Calm down, everyone. He's the same as his father. Ask him. Ask him why his dad is called Whitebeard. Ask him. Not sure I want to. Why do you get in our way? One way or the other, we'll get him. If he grows up to be like his father, then meet here again in ten years. Same place, same people. It's a dove. Dove. <laughs> Just hanging around. Dove, you're cool. You got any food? I sent my little rats to get groceries this morning, and they still haven't come back. I wonder if they think food will miraculously buy itself. Are you out of food? Do you run... When you say rats, are you talking about children or actual rats? Because <laughs> I can't tell from you. Have you been living under a rock, darling? Prices are soaring. Salt costs twice as much as today as it did yesterday. And where's the grain? I haven't seen wheat in a week. Really, what could happen next? There's still no train. People are worried. What if it never comes? We'll all starve. Why don't you get groceries yourself? More reliable than children. Oh, my answer was right here the whole time. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. How can I be in all places at once? Hmm? I have to send the kids. They're probably at that station of theirs. I think the heavens are not in the tower, at least. I just don't have the heart to whip them. <laughs> what station? It's a place they hang out, waiting on trains. Better than damn tower. Why don't you go there and fetch them? I don't want a medal. No, it's all right. At least they're in town, staying close. My neighbor hasn't seen her children in... I don't know how long. That damn tower took them all. Wonderful. I wonder how you can cope with that. Hey, you got any food on you? She has a lemon. But she only wants immunity boosters. And that's a, not a good trade. It's not a good trade. It's only worth three, too. She doesn't just, even know its value I'll just yet. Dig through the trash for... Uh, Oh, you're heading the wrong way. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm just I'm hooking 